Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about how the kernel or the null space of an injective linear transformation consists solely of the zero vector. Let's begin. Firstly, let's take a brief look at the null space and the concept of an injective map. For a linear transformation t from x to y, where x and y are two vector spaces over same field, the null space or kernel of t is defined as the subset of x consisting of those vectors that t maps to zero. It has great role in providing insights of the structure and dimensionality of any linear transformation. On the other hand, a map t from x to y is an injective or 1-1 map is a type of function where each element of the domain is mapped to a unique element of the codomain. Mathematically, we can say that a function t from x to y is injective if for every u and v in x, whenever t u equals t v, this implies that u is equal to v. We can also define this by using the contrapositive of this definition, which means that no two different elements in the domain have the same image in the codomain. Now let's prove why the kernel of an injective map is just singleton zero. Our aim right now is to prove the following theorem. The theorem states that a linear transformation t from a vector space x to another vector space y is injective if and only if the kernel or null space of t contains the origin of the domain space, that is, the zero vector. Assume that t is an injective linear map. We've to show that the kernel of t is singleton zero. This can be established by using the set inclusion principles. So if we take t zero, then we can also write it as t of 0x for any vector x in the vector space x. By the homogeneity property of linear transformations, it becomes 0tx. This 0tx will obviously be equal to 0, so t0 is equal to 0. Another way to put it is that a linear transformation sends 0 to 0. This implies that singleton 0 is a subset of kernel of t. Next, we prove the other part of set inclusion. Consider a vector x in the null space of t. From the definition of null space, tx is equal to zero. And I previously stated the fact that a linear transformation sends the vector zero to zero, so here we can write zero equal to t zero. But since t is injective, this means no two different elements in the domain have the same image in the codomain, so the only vector in x that maps to zero in y under the one-to-one -one linear transformation t is zero. Thus, x equals zero. This gives kernel of t is a subset of singleton zero. Hence, the kernel of t is equal to singleton zero by the definition of equivalence of two sets by set inclusion. Now, to prove the converse part of this theorem, let the kernel of t contains only the zero vector. To prove the injectivity of t, consider t u equals t v where u and v are any two vectors in x. By using the properties of linear transformation, this becomes t of u minus v equal to zero. And since t u minus v equals zero, u minus v lies in the kernel of t. However, it has been presumed that the kernel of t is singleton zero. This infers that u minus v equals zero. So, u is equal to v. Therefore, t is an injective map. And thus, we arrive at the sought after conclusion. And this brings us to the end of the video. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more math insights. See you next time.